this segment, I'm going to go over the process for opening the application and identifying some of the key components of the application interface. So to open Word, once we have it installed in the computer, we click here on Start and then locate it under the list of our programs here, or we simply type Word and then hit Enter. Once we open Word, we are presented with these options here on the left. We have three tabs. We have the Home tab, New, and Open. On the Home tab, we have the option to create a blank document or some guides and uh, templates directly from Microsoft. Then further below here, we have an option to open recent documents that we have been working on or pinned documents or documents that are shared with me. Further down here on the left on the next tab on New, we have here the option to create a blank document or to create a document from a template. This is so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Let's say you want to create a resume or you want to create a brochure and what. So and I'll go over this in a moment using templates. The next option here is to open a document where we can open from the recent documents or OneDrive or files shared with me or files stored on this PC. Further down, we have also the account option. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that I'm using Office 2019 and Word 2019 as part of Office 365. So the way you know that it's Office 365 is by clicking here on the account. And then if you're logged in under account information here, that means that you have Office 365 in your computer. The advantage of Office 365 is that you'll be receiving the latest enhancements and updates from Microsoft uh, th from month to month or every so often. So at this point, let's say that we wanted to create a new document. We can do that either by clicking here under the Home tab. We click on the blank document option, or we could go here under the New tab and we click on blank document or use one of the templates. In this case, first I'm going to click on blank document. So once we click on blank document, then we are presented with the option to simply start typing away and uh, start working on this particular document. Now, this main area here is where we type the document. Now, a couple other interface uh, components here. On the very top left, you'll see here this quick access toolbar. This is basically an area for you to uh, place in here commonly used commands in Microsoft Word. So you can click on the drop down, and let's say you're emailing a document or you're opening documents all the time, you can enable those buttons by just simply clicking one of those and it'll add the open button here. Another way to add those buttons is that if you are in a specific tab, and I'll go over the tabs in a moment, and you want to insert, let's say, pictures all the time, you can right click on this and choose to add it to the quick access toolbar. So in this case, it will always show up here. You don't have to go under the insert tab and then pictures, but you can simply use it from here. Now, if you want to remove it from, from here, you can right click on it and choose to remove it from the quick access toolbar and it will remove it from there. So that's uh, the quick access toolbar on the very top. On the left hand side here, the first option is file. File is basically bringing you back to work with anything related to the file in the computer, whether you want to create a new file, open an existing file, or information about the specific file that you're working with, or saving that file, or printing it, sharing it, and things of that nature. So that's your File tab. The next thing here is the Home tab. So these are the different tabs, actually. So if I click on Insert, you'll have a different set of tools within that tab. If I click on Design, again, a different set of tools. So under the Home tab, you have various commands or various options for you to work in this application. So these are the most 
commonly used tools for you to edit a document in Word. And these are referred to as the groupings. So you have the font grouping or the group for font related commands or paragraph formatting the paragraph grouping. So these are the all the, the, the functions related to formatting paragraphs or styles, applying a style to a document and so on. All the style stuff is over here, editing over here and other options. So again, uh, just a key concept here at this stage is to, to understand that there are different tabs. Each tab has groupings. Within each grouping, there is a set of functions or commands grouped together related to that function, to let's say paragraphs, modifying the text and stuff. Then you have the inserts, and these are designed intentionally this way. So you initially type your document with a bunch of text in here, then uh, once you have typed that document, then you can apply formatting to it, you can change the paragraphs, you can apply styles, and we'll learn about all of these different functions in this tutorial. Once you have done these basic things with your document or your report, then you can go here under insert, and that's where you can insert cover pages, blank pages, page breaks, tables, pictures, icons, 3D models, and uh, smart art, and uh, all of these different functions, comments, headers, and footers, and things of that nature. So you are inserting, enhancing your original document. Under the design tab, now you go into a different layer of enhancing this document. So you're kind of applying a theme and we'll learn about the themes uh, in depth uh, later, but you're applying, you're making all the components in this document uniform. The next component here is the layout. You're changing the layout of the document, whether it's the margins for the document or the orientation from landscape to portrait or the size of the document or adding columns and things of that nature. Now, then you move to the references. This is like where you are taking it even farther. For example, you have a long report. Now you're creating a table of contents. You're adding footnotes and you're researching and finding and applying citations and uh, uh, captions for various images and things of that nature. So you're kind of refining it at this stage. Then you have the mailings tab, that's kind of by itself, that's just a separate function for you to do mail merges, whether it's creating envelopes, labels, or letters, or emails, or a directory, and so on. Then under the review tab, this is kind of one of the last steps, let's say you have finalized your report, now you need to review it. So you go under the thesaurus, you check the word count, you check it for accessibility, you add comments to it and collaborate with others and track changes when you're collaborating with others. You can even compare documents and restrict uh, functions within this specific document. And then finally, within this application, then you can also do a final review of your document where you're going here under the View tab and then you can do a reading mode where you're viewing the document it, just reading through to make sure it's uh, what you intended it to be. And uh, this is kind of how you uh, can customize the application for various views within your computer. And we'll get into this uh, in more in depth later. And uh, you also have the help option where this is where you can learn uh, about training or what new features are there and things like that. But also, along with the help here, notice that on any of these tabs, you have this option here under uh, on the top here. And you can type, let's say, margins. If you are not sure how to set the margins. You can simply search in this area for that function, and it will take you to that specific command. So you don't have to know where that command is under which tab or which grouping you can simply search it here. So footnotes, you want to know how to add a footer and such. You simply start typing and it will take you directly there. So those are the components here on the, on the ribbon. This is the office ribbon with the various components. Now, 
You also have the option here, since this is part of Office 365, you can share this, this document with other, one, uh, other individuals. Of course, you have to be connected with OneDrive for this, and you can comment uh, with other individuals as well um, on this specific document. Now, on the bottom uh, right area here, this is where you can change the zoom for the document, like uh, the, not necessarily the font size, but the display, uh, just the zooming in and out of the document, basically. You can change the views here to uh, have this in reading mode or to have it in print layout mode. Typically, you want to have it in print layout mode. You also have the focus mode here as well. Basically, it's hiding everything else, but it's displaying you only your document. Then uh, you can adjust display settings to optimize it for various options here. Then on the left-hand side, you have the number of words that, and uh, various statistics about this, this uh, document, and then the number of pages and navigation uh, here as well. So these are some of the general components of Word. And in the next session, we are going to learn how to create a document, some of the very basics which I'm sure you're familiar with, but just before we move to the more advanced features of Word. So stay tuned for the next session.